Okay, I'm gonna feed this tank. This is a 240 gallon tank. I have a couple black diamond stingrays, a bunch of cichlids. I'm gonna start on this side <clears throat> and get the cichlids going so that they'll leave me alone when I'm trying to show you how I feed my stingrays. These guys are absolutely crazy over bloodworms. And then up here I have chopped shrimp. It's hard to see. In this cup, whoop, it's hard to see in there. I have some frozen bloodworms dethawing that I'm going to use this turkey baster so I can get them right down to the stingrays. Okay, so here's the chopped shrimp. Takes a minute for the stingrays to notice it's in there. All right, everybody. She's gonna start noticing it in a second. Here she comes with a piece of shrimp. Come on, baby, notice it. There she goes. Right in her mouth. You can see her below munching on it. Let's see if I can focus. So stingrays don't really have teeth. They have kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, like a flat piece of bone that they grind food with versus sharp, um, sharp pointy teeth. Let's see if I can get under there. Just let me show you. Okay, we'll get this guy over here. See if he's noticing any of the shrimp. He's munching on the bloodworms over here. So stingrays, I know that glass has got a little algae on it, or a crock. Stingrays pounce on food and then they, they puff up and look kind of fat while they're eating. We'll come back over here. We'll give this ray. Get some blood worms down in there. So what I do is I just suck some up with my syringe. And then I go down in here. Everybody goes for them, but that way I can get some right to the stingray. She's like, yum. slowly takes in. <laughs> These fish don't even care. I would not be messing with a stingray if I were a fish. Here, let's see if I can get better lighting. These are my stingrays kryptonite. They're absolutely obsessed with these. The sinking carnivore pellets. Let's see if I can get yeah, get some in there until they find those. He's gonna notice them in a minute. All those floaters right there, I just put some um, frozen, I think, brine shrimp for my other fish. Come on, buddy, notice. Come on, I know you're gonna see them. This one's the one that usually doesn't take any crap from the fish. This is my female stingray. These are black diamond stingrays. I believe they're hybrids. What are you doing over here, buddy? Oh, he's gonna go in. Oh, you little stinker fish. Fish like them too, but these stingrays are obsessed. Yep. He's like, oh, I guess I'll just eat some bloodworms for a minute here. Oh, here he comes for the pellets. Or the sink, yeah, the sinking pellets. You can take both of them. see what what are you up to oh, you're looking for those pellets I know you are mama you're getting closer so stingrays actually can't see food they can only smell food oh that fish just took the pellet off of them ballsy here, you go. here she comes she's like I know I'm getting close oh there she goes she says those are my pellets so I have my pellets 
Alright. Everybody's having a feeding frenzy here. These guys over in the corner, my blood parrot's a little bit of a food thief. Food thieves, I could say. Look at what you got one in your mouth. Oh. So yeah, I don't know if that was a good depiction of how stingrays eat, but they do pounce on food, puff up, and then munch away with their grinding, I guess you'd call them teeth. I don't know what else to call them, but just like a flat ridge that they have underneath them. Mm -hmm. There's a pellet, baby, right there. There she goes. Out of the way, buddy. <laughs> There's too many fish in the way. Oh, there's a blood worm for you. So the stingrays are awesome because they keep my tank really clean because of the way they flutter around. Any poop or debris that's on the bottom gets stirred up and goes into my sump thanks to the way the, these guys move around. Here's one of my huge blue-green subrooms. I don't even know if video does him justice, but he's probably eight, nine inches, actually. Just my hand up to him. Yeah, he's getting big. My parrots and my, well, my severums and my parrots used to be in a 75 gallon tank. Once they got moved into this 240, everybody has sprouted up, even my shark back there. I don't know, he or she has gotten quite large too. When the, he's overgrown, or full grown, I'm sorry, will be about 13 inches. So there's everybody. I'm gonna overview of these guys. So, yep, everybody's gonna finish eating. So that's uh, how everybody eats, or mostly my stingrays. Ciao. What are you guys doing up there? And some worms. This is a 75 gallon. Seems like a um, fish bowl to me now that I got the big tank. This used to be my largest tank that I thought was so hard to maintain. But perspective has changed. I did a water change and a filter maintenance today. I have a bunch of filters on this tank. I always over filter. I have a Marine Land, I believe, 350, don't quote me. That's a canister filter, of course. I have two sponges for biofiltration. And I also have a Marine Land shoot bio wheel on top. So yeah, I'm big on heavy, heavy filtration. This tank runs on a sump, which is in the corner here. It's a 40 gallon breeder. So it's got these filter socks that filter out the debris. Then it's got bio filtration. These are just um, ceramic logs that store bacteria and I bio balls. Another tank, the same thing. And then there's the pump, water, the, um, comes in through here and then returns back through that pipe and it filters about I believe four to five hundred gallons an hour so it's got mass filtration going. Okie dokie.